what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. I'm your one, you guys. It's a makeover. My name is David, and welcome to the Perseverance. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be reacting to Haram, Relationship, and Marriage. I think there's a Muslim video, and we want to know about Haram, Relationship, and Marriage. And this is going to be our first time checking it out. Let's check out to you guys. You know how it is. Exactly. Let's get into this video. The Sahabas, they used to make the halal easy. So what became hard? The haram. When we make the halal hard, the haram becomes easy. Mark my words, brothers and sisters. I'm talking to the parents. When you make the halal hard, the haram becomes easy. When you make the halal easy, the haram becomes hard. Open the doors for marriage, insha'Allah. And lower the dowry. And go in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah. The diary. Yes, definitely. There is a culture among the youth which I fear and that is that they are turning away from marriage and if they get married they divorce very quickly. Huh. Brothers and sisters in Islam, do not let the idea of haram relationships get the better of you. A lot of youth they come to me and they say, brother, I want to get married but I need to, I need to get to know the girl and the girl says I need to get to know the guy. How am I meant to get to know them if I don't go out with them, if we don't have coffee together like the West teachers? Brothers and sisters, let me inform you about something very important. You will never know your future wife or your future husband if you just go out together. You'll never know them. Take it from a person who's lived in a, in a country where people do this all the time. Because when you go out together, you are on your best behavior. You are on your okay. best looks, the best cologne. The CK perfume is on you. Yeah. And she's got Versace. And she's come out ready to meet you. She's probably looked at the, at the mirror and spent I'll about half her. an hour practicing how to talk to you. Definitely. And you as well, looking at every little hair on your forehead, every little hair on your cheek. This all fades away within about six months of your marriage. Hmm. The only thing that's left is the character. You will never know the true character of this person until you meet them in their home. You go the Islamic way and you go and ask for their hand in marriage through their father first. A lot of youth, they come to me and they say, I need to get to know the, the girl first. And subhanAllah, how quick they are to jump on where? Where did I jump on to get to know them? The internet. Internet. And messaging, text. They start conversing. Are you interested in marriage? She's on the other side. She's got a username first, right? Let's chat. How did you know I was a sister? Oh, you know, I looked at your profile and you had some really good, I mean, I'm interested in that too. And let's get into this conversation. And it comes up to me and says, brother, brother, it's in, the inter it's, it's in the interest of marriage. You know, my intentions are pure. Your intentions are pure. You're doing this for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you're doing it your way. What do you think? You're making up your own religion now. So they chit chat and they chit chat and they chit chat, right? First they attract each other. Then they meet each other. Then they look at each other. It's all good to know, right? They haven't touched. Then they want to touch. Then the touch turns into something else. Hmm. And then finally, they fall in love. In love. Oh, if you only knew. Brothers and sisters, you don't know what love is. This is not love. This is lust, lust. The girl is thinking, oh, how romantic he is. He's like uh, that movie I watched the other day, Twilight Saga. The boy, he thinks he's Rambo. Walking, you know, tensing his muscles. She's thinking how romantic he is walking me through the garden and the roses and the butterflies. He's got one thing on his mind. And he's thinking, I will tolerate all of this until I get to what I want. If he's a Muslim, you ask him, about his sister, he will say, I'll kill any guy who looks at her. If you want to marry someone, then you go in the right way, inshaAllah. 
go through her father first before you go through the girl why my sisters I'm talking to you now sisters you've never been a man before you don't understand how men think let your father do the work inshallah and obviously the fathers I encourage you to be a bit more courageous and find husbands for your daughters don't sit there and you know make it difficult open the doors for marriage inshallah and lower the dowry and go in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah so the brother comes to the father and the father likes him then you meet the daughter and if you fall in love with her alhamdulillah but the other way if you fall in love with each other you come to ask for her hand in marriage and then the father says over my dead body what are you going to do then you've fallen for each other what are you going to do hmm? the boy is dreaming about her she's dreaming about him is the love of her life she's the love of his life that's what the shaitan tells you what are you going to do they start to cry they start to this they want to commit suicide they ah. so they elope they run away together so he goes and marries her for two months that's what happens my sisters and that's one of the reasons why divorces happen he doesn't want you anymore there are brothers who get married and they want to marry a second wife in culture you know in Arab culture for example marrying a second wife it's difficult so what do they do they go for converts to Islam they marry them two months three months down the track and then they divorce them this is haram haram to use and abuse there are married couples who are stricken by this internet business and Facebook and the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you this halal for you at home <coughs> and there are sisters who Allah has given you this halal man at home but for some reason curiosity gets the better of you and you go to search the world and divorces occur as a result fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my brothers and sisters you are only putting yourselves into harm and our children are being neglected our children are being taken away by others and they are being raised by other people while the husband and wife are too busy with their desires guys this was educative really really educative um to a person when you 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 see you admire i won't say you actually like the person or love the person already can you see the person you admire the person you go through the, the right paths to follow is going to meet the parents and tell the parents your intentions on how you feel and stuff um the reason why they decided to make beats or why people did is because um a lot of people who <clears throat> marry some people who they are they are not actually um they don't really know already when they get married they will start knowing each other for sure that's true but some sometimes you you can't tolerate the person's assesses the person's behavior in some way some people are violent some people are um they they act in some manner like you feel like i can't cope with this for long so if if to be you don't date the person don't get me wrong you don't date the person or to to take time to observe the person you might go wrong but following the first narrow path, meeting the parents is a very, very nice thing. Like I fully support that. But once you tell the parents your intention and the parents say, oh, this is my daughter, you like her. She he called the daughter, the daughter say, ah, oh, and now I'm knowing him. The father talked to the daughter. Then they can just get to know themselves before they decide to marry. To me, you shouldn't marry immediately. If you pass through that pattern of knowing the girl, meeting the parents, then you take some time to some months, possibly a year, to really know the game before you guys officially start the marriage planning. It's a very, very nice thing for me. And that I support. But just going straight, meeting the parents, then a few weeks or months to just get married to the lady, I don't support that. Because I feel like both people have to know themselves. They do and don't, they are like <coughs> and what they hate. It's very, very necessary, it's very, very important. And then when someone um you meet the parents you guys are falling in love already before you to meet your parents 
And the parents say, I don't like the guy, go, you flee away to start a relationship. It's very bad. It's very bad. Not getting blessings from your parents before you get married to your partner. I won't support that. It's very, 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 very bad. So the person who, <clears throat> the commentary, the person who made this video up is very, very smart. And the words of wisdom he shared over here was really commendable for me. I really do appreciate it. And I feel like we, more people have to hear this and change the pattern of dating, dating, because some people date like five, six, ten, or in the sake of finding the right partner. Sometimes it's, it's too much. It's way, way too much. So you have to follow the right narrow path and meet the parents. You be very careful not to break up because of minor sins. So um, there are ways of wisdom. The author right the owner of this video made right here, and I truly support that. What do you think? Well, I kind of agree with the man um, that spoke. Because if you look at this 21st century, this is our century of dating first. Yeah. Because if we're like, oh, you need to know the person. Check, like, if I see 100 of people that are married, at least 50% of them are divorced currently, despite the fact that they choose to know the yeah. person. They took one year. Some people have been in a relationship for five, six years. What? The, I don't think, okay, what are you still knowing? Like, what are you trying to know about the person? You got a degree with that already. So I feel, because that, just like you said from the beginning, you said that if you're going on a date, they're going on two show. Definitely, if I'm to go on a date, I will dress nice, wear my makeup on, yeah. like put on my best behavior because like you need to look good, stuff like that. So I've, I've seen a couple of um, people that have been in an abused marriage. When people ask them like, was it, was it here like this while you guys were dating? Some of them have been dated for two, three years. The man was never abusive. They never saw that abusive part of them. It's not as if they just rushed into the marriage. They just took their time. But still, in that marriage, the, the character came out. Just like you said, after, after the while of dating, when you guys get married, after those beauty and stuff, it fades away. Then your character. It's your character that comes out now. When I just feel... It's just, it's just a journey flow. I just feel, just if you see someone you see someone you like, come to the parents. Um, you can take four, five, six months before you get married, because one thing about love, if you stay with someone and you're fond of that person, you're going to end up seeing yourself falling in love with them, despite you try not to. So. I'm not saying love is easy, but as long as you open your heart to it, you're definitely going to fall in love. But you doing, I want to date, because from the dating, people will start um, doing other stuff, just like he was talking about the touching. You see, from there, you start sinning against God, getting um, immoral, immoral sex and stuff like that. So again, you're trying to know the person, but you're sinning. So imagine if, let me say, you did with the first partner, or after knowing the person, you find out that is not the one. The second partner, the third partner, the, like how many are you going to do for it to find out that this is the one? So I just feel we should just pray. Anybody will meet, anybody will see that we want to go with this person, we should pray. Talk to our parents about it. Let us see who we are with. Because I feel this dating, we're turning into a casual way of having sexual intercourse with opposite sex. That is what people have just turned dating into altogether. It's no longer getting to know someone to marry. It's getting to date people. Getting to have different relationships with people. Not longer for the sake of marriage anymore. Because you will see some of them in the marriage. They're just uh, in the relationship. If you ask, so like, are you guys planning? They say, I'm just keeping it. We're just keeping each other company. Mm. They bring out this, um, we're friends with benefit. Then they don't be like, oh, I'm not sure yet. I don't think she's the one. Oh, I don't know if he's the one. He doesn't spend that much. So if you're going into a relationship without having marriage plan ahead, I just feel it's better for you to be honest with the person you're with. Let them know this is what I want. So if they are thinking about marriage, they'll find someone else. But I don't know. I just feel whatever works for you. But I really do appreciate what he said because if you look in those days, our parents had never dated. They just got married and see tomorrow they stick together. Unlike this 21st century that we're trying to know our partners. We're trying to know them, but still, any little thing, we just go and say, I can't tolerate, tolerate him. I can't tolerate her. She's not this, she's not that. Just feel, 
We need to compromise. We need to be understanding. We need to know what love really means. When you're with someone, you need to drop all those things you see outside. You need to take them the same way you take your siblings. Because I feel there's nothing your siblings will do to you that will just kick them out. You will still try to understand them. You still try to bring them out. Treat your partner that way. Don't treat them like this perfect person you're looking for. People are just finding um, a perfection. is someone to complete them. Complete yourself before you get someone outside. So you won't feel a void when they're not there. Thank you. Yeah, for me, I, I feel like it goes both ways. Definitely. It goes both ways. Uh, and I also feel like love is not enough for you to marry someone. At all. For me, because... Love itself is going to fade away. You have time when the same person you love, the same person you're going to hate. So if you rush to marriage, you go out love. It's not enough for me. And my auntie, she she got married. She followed through this pattern. The man explained right here. The man came over to meet her parents. So knowing the man, she don't really know the man. So the man is just someone who came meet her parent, the parent asked her, do you want to marry him? She accepted. So later on in the marriage, she found out the man um, has um, sight problem. He sometimes go blind. So she had to live with that all her life. So when she told me that, um, it really hit me. That was why I was like, after meeting the parents, you still have to know the person before marriage. For you to know the person is where the person, bad side, the good parts, those things are very, very essential for me. And not because you love someone, you have to marry the person immediately. No, you have to know if 10 years from now, we I be able to cope with this same person. Do you understand? Like you have to know like fully in your heart, irrespective of how this person shouts, yarn, complain, I will tolerate it. I can cope with it. Not because something does come up. Hey, hey, no, 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 I can't tolerate it. That's divorce. No, why? Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people do that. So you have to have a future plan of yourself and know this partner you are dating if you can cope with that, if you can endure. So it's it's very, very important for you to be sure because it's a lifetime decision and who you marry affects your life. Definitely. So you have to be very, very careful and mindful. Before we choose. So that's our feedback for this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See you. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch.